to conclude our, our um, discussion today, um, I wanted to just go into a little bit of detail about the Artisanal Mining Grand Challenge. So the, the Artisanal uh, Mining Grand Challenge, the scope of it is, um, is you know, it's global in scope and it's, it's addressing anything that is mined through artisanal and small scale mining. Today we had a discussion about gold mining, but this covers um, everything that's mined through, um, through ASM, through artisanal and small scale mining. The three sub-challenge, sub-challenges, the three categories of the competition include, the first one is prevent, remediate, restore. So we're looking for innovations and solutions that are going to prevent, remediate, or restore um, uh, land, water, hydrology, biodiversity, human health, ecosystems. What innovations have worked? Um, how might these scale beyond the current pilot um, projects or, or, you know, if you have, if you have a system, if you have innovations that are working at a small scale, what is it going to take to get you to, to grow that innovation, to um, move it beyond a pilot, um, a pilot study? So there was a question here about site specific solutions being considered in the challenge. Absolutely. Um, but as you dig into the application and work on your um, work on presenting your your innovation to the reviewers and judges um, consider uh, you know tell us about what what are those barriers to in order to um, scale that innovation or that project um, what is it that is needed to go beyond um, a single site like how are you going to to replicate this in multiple sites um, the second sub challenge here in the uh, in the competition is called reform the supply chain and so this is really addressing innovations that could occur at any point along the value chain or supply chain of these mined commodities. That first area, prevent, remediate, restore, is really focusing on um, uh, site um, innovations that are going to be applied at, at the site where materials are extracted. Um, the reform of supply chain, think about solutions that would occur at any point along that value chain, all the way downstream to the consumer, the manufacturer, the brands that are using these materials. And finally, the last category is called the Global Data Challenge. And this sub-challenge seeks innovations that um, can measure environmental and social impacts of artisanal and small-scale mining, but also equip people with the tools that so that they could use this data, utilize this data for better decision making um, that can improve the environmental and social outcomes of artisanal and small scale mining. And I'm going to plug the um, Delve database and the Delve report, which we have a link to this um, on our mining, uh, on the challenge website. But um, that particular report has outline what some of those data gaps are and um, is really acting as a repository for information data collected in um, that is related to artisanal and small scale mining. Um, finally, what I want to highlight is that the right now the prize pool, so that total amount of money that we're giving away in this competition is $750,000. 100,000 of that is, um, is the Microsoft award. And so this is innovation, an innovation that utilizes um, uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning or machine learning in its um, design and application. Uh, so that I just want to highlight that there is also that opportunity. Um, your innovation could fall into any of those three sub challenges and be um, eligible for the Microsoft money. As you go through the application for this, you will notice that you can select if you're eligible for the Microsoft um, award. Um, we're going to have uh, future webinars that will go into more detail about the challenge and the process of applying, and we'll also have um, additional topical webinars as well. Um, again, thank you everyone for joining. Um, we did record this, and so we will um, provide this to people who, who couldn't make it in real time. And thank you again, everyone.